Welcome to this accounting software tutorial. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use the accounting software, as you can see on my screen, for accounting purposes. Now, first you want to go to accounting.com and then you want to click on Get Started and create an account. They will ask for your name, email address and password and you will then get, in verifi get a verification email to your email inbox where you will need to click the link to verify your email address. After that, you'll be redirected to your dashboard where you will need to enter in further company details like the size of your company, how long are you in business, um, yeah, what kind of niche do you serve in, and after that, you will be then in your dashboard and it will look like um, you see on my screen. So here we are in the dashboard and we can already see there are some kind of widgets. So we, for example, have a cash flow widget, receivables, we see payables, profit and loss, and yeah, even more. And we can also edit these widgets if we click on add widget. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, you can enter in an email, uh, you, sorry, you can enter in a name, type, width and sort. But... Um, we're not going to be editing uh, with just, just right now because we don't have any data to show. Now, I'll walk you how to create new items, how to do invoices, how to create vendors, and etc. etc. And we will all, and I'll now walk you through this. So, we'll start by creating new items. So, on the left, we'll create on, we'll click on items first. You can see I will need to log in to start my session real quick. So, I'll quickly type in my email as well as the password. <coughs> since yeah i've been idling for too long and now after clicking on items we'll be on this page now you can also do this by clicking on the plus icon oh actually okay you cannot do this by clicking on the plus icon but we'll need the plus icon in just a second now in the item section we can create products or services that we offer so we can create a new item here and we can give this a type so is this a product or a service then we can give this a name so we can I basically type in, for example, product one. Then we can give this a category and we can also create a new category if we don't have a category yet. So we can give this a category hashtag one. We can give this a color. So you can click on this and you'd have many different uh, colors here that you can choose from. Then we'll, uh, we can also choose a parent category if this is a subcategory. But in this case, I will just save this. <clears throat> and now we have a product in this category right here. And we can also give this a description. So I'll just type in description. Obviously, you want to enter this. Um, you want to enter in the correct data here. And then we can also enter in billing details. So sale information is used within invoices and purchase information is used within bills. So <clears throat> we can enter in the sales price, which could be uh, 99.99, for example. Then the purchase price, which is... 59.99 if this is a product and then the tax we can also add a tax to this but this is not required then we click save and we have now created a new product here and we can see the sales price and the purchase price so now after we know how to create items we will want to go to sales and we want to create invoices and customers so we'll first click on invoices and here we can create a new invoice now just as we could do on items we could also import items or import invoices we can here we can also create sales orders credit notes and estimates and this in this in this case i'll show you how to create a new invoice here we can t uh, give this a title so for example order hashtag 111 then we can also add a subheading we can drop drag and drop or yeah, upload a logo we can also add company details and then we can add billing details so we can add a customer here and we will create a customer in just a second but um, I'll show you how to create a customer in just a second. But if you click here on new customer, you can also do this here. So we'll give this a name, customer1. I'll type in email at email.com. Then the phone number is not required. Tax number is not required. And currency is required. Then we can also add address details <clears throat> and also other details like the website or reference. After we click on save, we can see that we're building this customer right here. Then we can add the invoice date, we can add the due date, and also the invoice number, which is, you can see, already predefined by accounting. Then we can also add order number, in this case 1111, as we've uh, done here. And then we can also add these items. Now, since we've already created an item, we can see them here. And we can also add a description, and this is the description that I already added to our item, to our product. So this is already pre-filled. Then we can add the quantity, and we see the price at the amount 
<clears throat> now here we can see we can also add a discount so if i click on add discount we can either type in a dollar amount or a percentage amount like five percent discount and then you would see the discount here and then we can also add notes or we have some advanced settings like footer for example but then yeah we could either save or send this send this invoice to our customer so in this case i'll just save this invoice and you can see we have now created this draft. So this is a draft invoice and will be reflected to charts after it gets sent. So if we send it to an email, you can see we will send it to our customer. We can see this is how it looks like. And if they click on this link, they will get to that invoice. So if we click on send, this email or this invoice has been sent and the customer will receive this invoice. Now we could also add a payment and we could also see um, how we can accept payments online. So if you click on this, uh, you would see exactly the payment details. So now let us let me sh quickly show you how to create customers. We've already created a customer here, but basically if you create a new, if you click on create new customer, we'll see the exact details here as well. So not name, phone number, email number, billing information and address information. <clears throat> and we could also add contact persons. But in this case, yeah, we've already created a customer, so I don't have to show you, but it is very simple. You just enter in the details right here. And what is really cool, I think, is also that if we click on customers, we can also see the open amount that we're basically, that are open, that our customers have to pay us. We can see how much money is overdue and how much money is in draft. And we could also click on CRM. However, I'll show you the CRM feature in just a second. So we'll click on sales, we'll click on customer. And here, yeah, if we click on CRM again, then um, you can see that this is a paid feature so you can pay monthly yearly or you could also pay lifetime to get lifetime access and this is a feature or an app that is created by accounting which you could purchase and which you could add to your uh, yeah to your accounting dashboard and which you could add for your uh, yeah to your company and use in your company now i'll show you how apps work later on but um, just to know, this is like a preview of this. So this is how apps work. We can buy apps as well, and we can use them in our software. Now let's move on to purchases. I want to here show you how to create vendors and bills. I'll first create a, vend a vendor because we will need the we will need the vendor later in later for the bill. So I'll create a new vendor here. But as as we as we've seen before, you can also import a vendor here as well. <clears throat> so I'll create. I'll need to give this a name. So vendor hashtag one we can give it an email phone number website reference and we can give the um, also add billing information like the tax number and the currency then address information and also contact person so yeah basically you want to enter in the details in here and you can see only the name and yeah only the name is a required field so click on save and now we have a vendor here and we can also see the open amount paid amount and overdue amount so if you now go to bills, we can create a new bill. As with all other features, we can also import a bill here as well. <clears throat> Let me show you how to create a new bill, however. So we will need to first add a vendor. We've already created a vendor here, so we can see this here. Then we have the bill date, bill number, and also the due date. And then we can also add a order number. However, this is, um, again, not a required field. Then we can add items. So this is our product and we can now see it's not showing 99.99 because this is the purchase price. So if this is our vendor and we're purchasing that same product that we're then selling, we can see this is the purchase price that we are paying. So we could also change this here, but this is basically, um, yeah, the purchase price that we've set. Then we can also add a discount, um, but yeah, we cannot add the discount manually. So we're not the one that decides if we get a discount. But if the vendor says that we're getting a discount, we can enter this right here. Then we can see the total. We can add notes. We can add some advanced features like the uh, category, for example, and some attachments. And then we'll click on save. <clears throat> so now we can see this is a draft again. And after it gets received, we can it will then be reflected in the chart. So if we click on mark received, we can see that we've received this bill. However, however we've not yet um, yeah, paid it. So if we click on bills again, we can see $120 are open. So yeah, that's about the bills. Now I quickly want to show you some banking features. So here we have accounts. These are basically just your bank accounts and you can add new accounts. If you click on add new account, you can enter in uh, bank name, bank details, account number and your name. And you can also set this to a default account 
or you could also add credit cards. Now, what is also a really cool feature is that you can just click on connect to your bank and you could connect your own bank account directly and um, you could import transactions directly and securely to automate bookkeeping. Now you can see this is also an app. I'll show you how apps work later on, but this is also something that we would purchase in order to add this to our um, software. So yeah, we can add or manage bank accounts right here. Then we have transactions. So we would need to set up new transactions for each and every single payment. Um, if we have that app, as we've seen before, we, it, those transactions would automatically be imported from our bank account. Now if we click on new income, we can see we would see the type, we would see the date, payment method, amount, which could be trade bank transfer, for example, and then description, and then we can assign this to sales or deposit. We can choose a customer. If we choose deposit, yeah, oh yeah, we can also choose a customer. Then we have tax and some other information. And then if we, if we click on save, we can see this is a receipt. So yeah, here we can manage our transactions. <clears throat> Obviously it would be way easier if you connect our bank because then those would be automatically imported. Then we have transfers. So we can set up a new transfer. That's the same as with transactions. And we have reconciliations. That's also the same as with the two, with these two options before. Now let me show you how reports work. This is very, this is just very quickly. Um, we can click on new report and we could give this a name. We can select a type and we can give this a description. Now these types are the, uh, the, the ones that we can choose from. <clears throat> and actually when you click on report, you can already see there are some pre, some default, um, uh, sorry, some default reports already. So if you click on income versus expense, you can already see timeline and then like this report right here. So there are some reports that are already pre-built that we just have to click on. <clears throat> and then we can see the, for example, in this case, the expense, expense summary, we can see the income summary here. And yeah, there are already some pre-built ones uh, that we can find in reports. Now, I quickly want to go over apps, then I'll show you the user, and then I'll show you um, yeah, some company details and where we can change them. So let's quickly, let me quickly show you the apps. Now we've already seen some apps like the CRM, for example, or the Connect Your Bank Account app, which were both paid, but there are also free apps. So you can, if you click on top free, you can see the top free apps here. So Xero would be a free app, Wave would be a free app, which you can then use. Employees would be a free app. So if we click on this right here, you can see the exact features. So streamline your employees management process. And here are the features. You can add unlimited employees, you can add departments, you can add employee login, salary information, and full features. So yeah, these are all of the things which you can do. You can even see there are some things like add employee birthday. So this is a, <clears throat> yeah, this is an app that we can add and we could then also integrate it into our software and we could use this. Now, if you go back there, are mo yeah, most of the apps are actually paid. So you can see inventory, custom fields. And uh, yeah, if you, for example, search for CRM, we can see that there's also a CRM. Um, here it is. Here's, there's also a CRM app, as we've seen. So we could also integrate the CRM of yeah app into our software so contacts companies deals activity log reports generate invoices and here you can see the full features again <clears throat> so yeah that's that's about the apps there are some paid ones and there are also some free ones now let me quickly show you uh profile the profile so how we can add users how we can manage roles so we could just click on profile in the top left corner and then click on roles now we can see we have four roles in this case. We have accountant, customer, employee, and manager. And if we click on new role, we can also see that we can create a new role. So this seems to be loading for some reason. So, all right, let, let's try it in a minute again. Some, so for, so for some reason, the website uh, is still loading. So let me quickly show you users first. So here we can see, <clears throat> this is me, and I have this manager role right here. And I could also edit my information. So I could change the role, for example, to accountant. I could change the landing page. For example, if I'm, I don't know, depending on the role, you could change the landing page here so that I don't land on the dashboard if I log in, but I would land on the bills. So yeah, you can change the edit in, uh, user information here. And if you click on invite user, 
you can for example invite your accountant in here you could invite your um, manager in here so you can invite some users and then if we try to use roles again we can also assign these roles but we can also create a new role so if we click on new role we should get onto a new page where we can then type in the name of that role add a description like we see here and then we would uh, see the new role displayed here but for some reason this doesn't seem to work in this case but just click on new role and can add the details now i want to show you how to change your company details as well so if you click on settings right here and then on company we can see the company details so name email address uh, yeah address information and we can then click on save now we have also localization so when does the financial year start when does the fin uh, when is the financial year denote date format and time zone percent position so does the per should the percent uh, percentage sign or character should be shown after the number or before the number and you know just some uh, <clears throat> yeah some some settings now there is also a way to create the things directly if you remember at the beginning I actually told you we will need this plus uh, icon later and that is because if you click on a plus you can uh, directly create an invoice in income customer bill expense vendor or transfer so you don't actually have to navigate to sales go to invoice then click on new invoice you can just go here click on invoice and you're already in the new invoice or on the new invoice page now here we can also see our company if we can manage companies we could also add multiple companies here as well so yeah these are all of the features about the accounting software which you would need to know in order to use accounting for your for your accounting in your company now if this video was helpful make sure to like the video and thank you for watching